right? So now I'm conditioning one of the cells at warm. So for about 10-15 uh, minutes. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer and condition it. And what I notice is you end up with a very uh, crystal-like, if it's cooked well, very crystal-like And it holds up pretty good. So very well cooked. Okay, so now it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. And what happens is, carefully, because it gets into a wax, like a translucent, you can see it there. And it's really, really soft like wax. So what we're going to do is carefully put this in the freezer, plug in my electrodes. I mark this as plus over here and the negative over there. So carefully. So what I'm using is I realize, see that's really soft. So you got to be careful when you connect. Plus over here. And I've used the high voltage module, I find it works better, so I'm going to carefully close the door as much as I can here. I'm going to plug in. And I can hear it. And we'll let that cool down for about 15 minutes, folks. And that's the conditioning process. So this is nice and frozen now. It's been about 15 minutes and the power supply, by the way, for those wondering, 9 volts, very low level, 150 milliamps, I believe. So we're going to open this up. Yes, nice and hard. Disconnect the oscillator. Carefully remove. Yeah, that's solid. You can hear a clunk. This is how it looks like. It solidifies into a crystal like. So we're going to go and test the output of this cell now. Okay. So put the meter on. Zero. Plus here, negative here, hey I think I'm going to be happy with this one, see what it does, it goes down and back up, so it is doing something well conditioned. Of course, just for experimental purposes, I'll be happy with it. This is far from optimized, folks. Like I've explained in other videos, you want to squish those two electrodes as close as possible without shorting and covering them as much as you can with the solid state electrolyte. That also increases the um, capacitance as well. So, uh, and the efficiency of the um, two potential differences between the two plates. So, um, again, for experimental purposes, it's what I got to work with. And for what it is, folks, I'm very, very impressed. So, um, with that said, I just wanted to show you the conditioning process and what it looks like. And ultimately, you know, you take them out of the tray. And this is what you get very hard. Completely solidified. Yet voltage comes out of these. And I do notice you disconnect them for a while, you, you plug them back in and poof, they somewhat, you know, self regage that way too. Potential wise anyways. Because even the meter puts a light load and these things have hardly any currents. So you're actually drawing just having the meter on there. 